So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's one of, you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. That the characters are consistent, played by the same actors, and it works within one story. What? What the fuck? Never in my entire life have I hated hearing a string of words forming a cohesive sentence more than I do right now. But regardless, welcome back true believers and all you DC fans out there to another very interesting video. Once again talking about the overall future of DC in video game form, or more specifically how it seems like Warner Brothers is pretty much running the DC games division straight into the ground. So in case you missed it, yesterday was a pretty big day for DC in general, where the current head of DC Studios himself of James Gunn went on to present the future plans for the DC Cinematic Universe, or what is now being referred to as simply the DCU. Which as you clearly heard James describe at the beginning of this video, is that the DC Universe going into the future will fully include all forms of media, which in this case directly involves movies, television, animation, and most importantly, video games. And despite all the other incredibly lackluster announcements that I personally think came from this DC presentation, besides that of the Batman Part 2 releasing in 2025, there really wasn't a whole lot to get me excited about the future of DC in general. Now, I've already done a video in the past fully going over my main thoughts as to why I personally believe that involving the DC video games and forcefully connecting them into all the other DC properties, specifically within the same universe as the films and TV shows, is an absolutely horrible idea. So if you want to retread old ground on that topic, I will be sure to leave a link to that video in the description below. But the main thing that we're going to be talking about today is pretty much everything that James Gunn did not say during that initial presentation, and instead highlighting what James Gunn did go on to tell the press in a separate interview altogether. And after hearing everything that James Gunn went on to describe for the future plan of DC, I for one am a whole lot more worried than I was before. And trust me when I say that I'm not the only one who feels this way. So this recent news article revolving around all the updates from DC Studios does come from SlashFilm.com. And a huge shout out to the author of this article of Ryan Scott for painting the overall picture of DC Studios future plans in such a clear and vibrant way. While also vividly detailing everything that James Gunn went on to analyze for DC in the realm of video games that wasn't discussed during that first presentation, stating that at a recent press event attended by film's Jenna Bush, Gunn and Safran pulled back the curtain on the first wave of the new DCU. Speaking about video games, Safran said that gaming is a big part of what we're doing, and everything we do at DC comes through us. Gaming is just a part of it but it's an area that we love, and we think could be really expanded upon. The executive added that the idea is to put, quote unquote, an emphasis on storytelling and the universe, as opposed to individual movies or television. Gunn, meanwhile, chimed in to give some more specifics on how they will approach the storytelling in these games. And for any of you diehard Superman fans out there who have still been craving a fully standalone AAA Superman game on the same level of quality as that of the the Arkham games, or even the recent Spider-Man games from Insomniac, then boy oh boy are you going to be royally pissed off after hearing what James had to say. And I promise you that this is a 110% real quote coming from James Gunn, saying that what's very different about it, for us, for DC, it's not like we're going to have Superman come out and then have the Superman game come out. It's more like we have Superman come out, then two years later, we have Supergirl come out. So what's the story in between there? Is there a crypto game that we can play that comes in between that's still set in the world with these characters? But that is its own thing to sort of give games the prominence that they deserve. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, James, but that is not what people are expecting from these gaming titles. Given that I personally have a PhD in How to Be a Gamer 101, I think that I can accurately diagnose James with the unfortunate condition of movie tie-in brain, which sadly seems to be a contagious disease which will spread throughout the entirety of DC's video gaming future. But all jokes aside, this is pretty much the exact same thing that I was describing my worries about 
out in my previous DC Games video. Instead of receiving incredibly original experiences like what we have seen from Marvel with Spider-Man PS4, Miles Morales, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, not to mention Marvel's Midnight Suns, and even all their upcoming games like Marvel's Wolverine, Marvel's Iron Man, the Captain America and Black Panther World War II game, and many, many more, the amount of freedom that is being provided to each and every one of these video game developers working on these licensed properties is pretty much being stripped away in order to forcefully tie in each of these mediocre games to an even more mediocre lineup of live-action DC properties. Another big factor to keep in mind is that not all moviegoers also play video games. And the same example also applies to people like myself who thoroughly love the medium of video games, but may not necessarily go out of their way to watch any new major superhero movie release. Allowing these DC games, movies, TV shows, and animated series to thrive in their own unique way, instead of forcefully tying them into one another, would easily be the best way to remedy this situation. However, it looks like James Gunn is making this problem 10 times worse. Mainly by looking at this other quote that James Gunn stated with a closed off press event, it really does seem like that all this interconnectivity that is going to be applied to the DC Universe is inevitably going to be its downfall. Where James Gunn himself went on to say that what we're doing with the DCU is we are having animation tied directly into live action television and movies and games all intertwined within the same universe we're going to cast actors that are going to be able to play the characters in this this in particular being the recently announced creature commandos animated series as well as in other things some of which you've already seen in the past and to clarify exactly what gun is saying in the situation is that say for example that the recently announced amanda waller tv series may in fact end up receiving its own video game. Well, in all likelihood, the main actress who would end up playing Amanda Waller in the video game might also end up being Viola Davis, who plays her in live action. Which, in my opinion, is one of the most moronic ideas I've ever heard. An actor playing a character in a movie is completely different from a voice actor portraying a character in a video game, who may also end up portraying that character within motion capture, which is a completely different form of acting altogether. And in fact, this statement from James Gunn is so stupid that it even caught the attention of a previous developer from none other than Rocksteady Games, who just so happens to be currently working at Naughty Dog as a senior character artist. So a huge shout out to at the cartel Dell on Twitter, who also lucky enough follows me, who went on to say the following about this recent DC news, saying James Gunn just stated that DC want the film, games, and animation characters to be consistent and played by the same actors. I'll never work on a DC title ever again if that's upheld. You've lost your mind if you think Hollywood can outdo Tara Strong's Harley or any VA actor. And I for one could not agree more. I've already discussed time and time again how the originality that these developers create with each of these individual superhero games is already providing those experiences a huge leg up compared to their movie counterparts, considering that they don't have to worry about tying them into anything that the films or TV shows are doing at the moment, and instead can go absolutely buck wild in any direction that they want, which primarily means casting casting a crew of actors that is totally different from what we're seeing in live action. We wouldn't have had the phenomenal performances that we've already seen from these actors of Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker, Naji Jeter as Miles Morales, or even John McLaren as Star-Lord without Marvel taking the chance on a fresh new take to portray these superheroes in. Even another Marvel game like Marvel's Midnight Suns does a spectacular job of showcasing a bunch of characters that we've already seen on screen, like that of the Avengers and the X-Men, but display them in completely brand new ways to simply provide each of those individual heroes with a breath of fresh air. And we'll also introduce the fans to those characters in a completely new way, which in turn reinvigorates interest in the Marvel brand as a whole. Whereas in the case of DC, and when everyone's super, <laughs> no one will be.
In the end, everybody, I am left absolutely bamboozled with the direction that DC seems to be taking with all their forms of entertainment. But specifically in the case of the video games, we already have a very skeptical look at how Suicide Squad is turning out, and the only current ray of hope that we do have for DC games is with Wonder Woman made by Monolith. However, we don't know as of yet if this plan might end up affecting how that game will turn out, and whether or not the Wonder Woman in Monolith game may also end up being voiced by the same Wonder Woman in live action of Gal Gadot. Which if that scenario ends up coming true, I have just become 10 times less excited for that game. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see as to how things will turn out by the time we see this plan in action. And with all that said everyone, that's the video I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this absolutely insane DC news, and does this make you even more or even less hyped for the future of DC in general? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more videos like this in the future, stay awesome everyone, and peace out.